What's up guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. I figured since today we're doing some Jeep things, which involves the trailer, uh, why not make a cool, cool short little vlog about hauling our trailer with the Jeep? Or just, you know, show you guys a little bit of house progress because that's what we're really doing. Stay tuned, roll that intro. First try. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Ooh, just like that. Dang, like a boss. Alright, so I showed you guys backing up to the old trailer here. Now that we got her unlocked, go ahead and pop that up and start lowering her down right on that ball. That's what we like to do next. And then I always chalk the wheels of the trailer. So what I like to do is get the jack just barely off the ground like I've got it there. Let me zoom out and we'll hook up our chains and I hook these guys up upside down like that. You can see that the trailer and the ball are not quite paired. So we come over to this side where we've got the trailer chalked up and that just helps prevent it from rolling. And we'll just leave them right there. And now the trailer, when I pull on it, lock down. And then we latch it and I'll put my lock on there. All right, well the camera, I don't know what happened, but I have to roll my chains up so I just twist them and then hook it up. And what that does is that keeps these chains from dragging on the ground when I'm hauling because the Jeep doesn't sit very high it's not necessarily meant for hauling however I can assure you that she sure does haul she puts in the work and does great and then always I'm like pretty particular about this not necessary everywhere I suppose depending on your state but I like to make sure that my trailer lights are working and that they're always connected um, I know some totally just roll around without their trailer lights and something that you can do just to be safe or I guess maybe it's like a to do kind of thing I don't know is um, to always have your lights turned on when you're hauling a trailer I don't know where I get that from. It's just that's something that I do. And when a trailer doesn't have lights, like I'll still I'll still use it, I'll still haul it. But it just makes me a little more um, comfortable when it does have working lights. I'm trying to do this one handed. So my jack, as you guys see, I spin it, flip it over, get this pan. Takes a little wiggling. There we go. Now that guy's secure. Now the trailer is locked, secure to the Jeep. Our hitch is locked, secure to the Jeep. So now I can't get stolen. Like that's kind of my big deal too. I just I like to be know that it's not gonna go missing. And if it does, I know that it is my trailer. And I know it's my trailer because of that sticker. All right, now we're in the Jeep. Let's go ahead, put her in drive, and go to our next stop. Go ahead and back the trailer up to where I want it. Avoid hitting the Corvette. I guess since you guys can't see anything with it, there you go. puts it right all right there we go now she's backed up and the plan is to load up this stuff on there and we'll be taking that to the other house because we have plans for chickens and that's what this stuff's going to become is used for chickens like all of that kind of sort of 
we'll we'll see when we get there but uh yeah that right now we got some bed frames on there one of those we're gonna take completely apart at the other house with tools and then put it away for storage don't have room for it right now maybe in the future and it will be used again the other one is a bed frame so old that it's nearly as old as me if not older because technically i've had that one since i was like a year old and uh yeah pretty cool it's an old water bed frame don't have the water bed got the frame but we're going to use the wood for something else anyhow here's miss avi Oof. man i can't wait to get her out for a little ride let's go grab the keys ready set got the keys race car check the coolant so let's check that coolant the coolant does look low just from here yeah I need to add some more so it must be leaking coolant or something because I should not have to fill it like I you know what I bet that if it is leaking it's leaking from the uh, on board that makes sense oh boy anyhow that's a problem for another day so I just fill it up and then we can drive it and it'll be all right the uh what i'm talking about is the sensor because that sensor i took from the old tank and put in the new one and i bet right there you can kind of see it it's right there i bet that it's leaking from there just because that's something that on these older corvettes they're supposed to be built in and not able to buy a separate one and well i bought a tank that you could did not come with the sensor so yeah i'll have to look into that anyhow if you guys enjoy this short little vlog um smash that thumbs up head over to the family channel check out some more of what we're doing over there at the uh h AVHQ number two. This is AVHQ number one, aka the farm. We have a farm and a city house for now. God is so good. I appreciate y'all. Real quick before we dive off, jump off. Before we jump off, I guess I'm gonna shut this hood. Make sure that's latched. That's good. We are closing in on. 2,000 subscribers. Can you guys believe that? 2,000 subscribers. Man, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. You know, I, I absolutely love it. And every chance, every chance that we get, it, oh man, to, to touch another's life, like to, to hopefully inspire them, maybe to bring them to God, bring God to them and open opportunities for them not just us it's such a blessing it's such a blessing to have this platform and i hope that we can continue to grow man all i see is the reflection of the corvette that's cool it's really cool and so when we hit 2,000 subscribers instead of waiting till 2,500 subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway that i said we would do a while back once we hit 2,500 and we're going to do it at 2k so if you guys can help you guys can help, I should say, by sharing, subscribing, letting people know, subscribe to RT Vet. While you're at it, head over to the RT Vet family channel because we're closing in on 100. And I might just do some giveaways on the family channel too. Why not, you know? Let's spread the blessings and 
let's spread God's word. Man, uh, so a verse for y'all to look up, John 3.16. That's one of my favorites. We will catch y'all in another vlog. Have a great day and God bless y'all. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just gotta fix your view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ.